Hi again, uh, here we are to talk about Xcode and uh, we're working on our to-do app and we'd like to add the date to it and so far we've got the date working in the the add to-do view controller you know it's displaying the date picker. Um, the problem though that we have here is that uh, the date picker shows up and then displays the date in the text field but the actual date object right which has the information that we want is lost essentially right we lose that and then we don't really save the date value because it has the date inside it right so what we'd like to do is we'd like to keep track of the date right just putting the text description for the date the string of the date into the text field is okay but you know we actually want the date object you know be a little easier to work with right so so here's what we're going to do we're going to add a new property to the add to do view controller so we're in add to do view controller and we're going to add a var named date and we'll make this type ns date okay and i'll put this exclamation point there to let xcode know that we are going to set the value of this um, at some point right and what i'd like to do is down here in uh, in view did load why don't we say uh, we can say date equals ns date I don't know if we can get away with just doing this in view will appear. It might work there too, but I, I think we got to do this in view did load. Um, anyway, so we'll do that. And then I'm going to add another, um, another method here, view will appear. And, you know, I'm not an expert at this, but what I'm thinking is um, this view did load happens whenever the view is loaded, but it's, I, I think it's possible that we could visit this view and it would load and then we could leave and come back to it and it might not load again because it's already it, uh, it's already been loaded once and it wasn't really removed but it will so so that second time it wouldn't get a view did load again okay and what i want to do is i want to update the date object so that it's right the current moment when this view is about to appear on the screen so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add this view will appear method and this this happens every time the view is about to appear on the screen Okay, so this is going to get a, a message every time we're about to appear, and we know that right here we can update anything just before it displays. So right here, um, I'll need to call super dot view will appear and pass the animated value from here up to the to the super class, and then what we're going to do is we're going to say date equals ns date, and now except we got to spell it with lowercase a and then now we know that every time the view will appear we will have the most recent date okay and what we should do is we should um, we should set the value of the date in the text field so right when we show up the text field shows the current date okay we have a formatter here and the date style and so essentially you know we want to do these three lines of code right now we're calling these three lines of code from the date picker, right, this date picker method, and this requires this sender parameter, right, which we can't really send from down here, or at least not easily, right? So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another function here called, um, how about uh, display date? How about that, right? And this method will take an NS date. So you just pass in an NS date, and then what's going to happen is it is going to, and I'm going to cut all the text out of uh, date picker changed, paste it into display date, and then down here where it says sender.date, we don't have a sender anymore, but we do have a date, and that's the date that we're going to display. Okay, so this method, it's only, it's only there to just display the date in the text field. Okay, so now when the date picker is changed, what we'll do is we'll call display date for sender.date. Okay, so now this guy can call sender.date. And then if we want to display the date in view will appear down here, after we've gotten the current date here, we can say display date and then put the date value in there. Okay, so now. Now we've got our code, you know, it's kind of abstracted here a little bit more, but, uh, you know, there's more methods than there were before, but they're more flexible, right? So, 
So anyway, so we've got that. So now hopefully if everything's working, this time when we test the, the project, we should see the current date appear in the field, right? And here we'll give it a quick test. There it is, and I'll click the Add New Button, and Tuesday, December 1st, right? So there we go, we got the date. And then if we click on it, we should be able to edit the date, because maybe there's something I have to do on the 3rd, so I'll, I'll change it to the 3rd, right? And then I have a, a Save and a Cancel button. Um, the other feature of this is that <clears throat> the date, the current date that you set in the field, right, is now in this variable. So when you tap on the Save button, right, like right here in Save button tapped, we can grab the date and do something with it. So essentially, if our to-dos are going to have a date object, we'll have to modify the to-do manager so it accepts more than just the name text. It'll also need to accept a date along with it. But just for testing, you can see that if I, um, if I say print the date here on Save button tapped, um, if we test, And I make a new to-do, I say hello to-do, and then I click on the date here and I set it to uh, December 3rd, wait, December 7 for fun, right? So it's December 7, and then I click Save. In the output or the console down here, you'll see that it says December 7, right? Actually, it says 2-12, and that must be December 7 in computer language, hopefully, right? Um, either that or I made a mistake, which happens, in, you know, we can fix it, but uh, I think that's correct. That actually says December 2nd. I, I don't know where it got that from, but anyway, you, you see we're getting the date, so hopefully that should be our date. Maybe, you know what, maybe I made a mistake here, and you know what we need to do, I just realized, is over here when we display the date, we also need to set the date. Let's test that again. So let's do this. Let's do uh, date equals sender dot date yeah so yeah this is not correct there so um oh man what do we got here let's see um yeah so i'm gonna go to display date and then actually i guess i got a problem because this is date and this date wants to be the local you know our, our property date and not the date here so we should put self in front of that right and that should make it you know, this date up here as opposed to the date that we have right here, right? So let's save that. Oh, yeah, and actually this doesn't have sender. I forgot. We got to do this. I am not on the ball today. So there we go, right? We got display date. It's going to pass a date to us. We're going to set the date as our, you know, our property, you know, this view controller's property of date. Let's give it another test there. Cross our fingers here. And there we go. So we got this started. We'll, I'll add a new item. I'll say, you know, foo. And then I'll set the uh, date here to, uh, to the 5th. And then I'll save it. And there we go. It says 6. For some reason, that's off by a day, but I think that's okay. I think it's something about the way this keeps track of the date. I think that's correct this time. Okay, so anyway, so hopefully that's working, right? And then the next step is to uh, make our to-do items store a date. Um, so I'll do that in, the, in another video because it'll take a few minutes, okay? So thanks for watching. Sorry for the, <laughs> for the errors there at the end.